Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Life is Tip Knows It. Thanks for joining me on this kind of gloomy day here in Colorado. Hopefully it's nice and sunny where you are at. I thought I'd take you along on the adventure of me making a greeting card for my dad. It is his birthday coming up. And so I am gonna make a DIY card. So what I have with me is a um, Diamond Dots canvas that you can purchase um, at Joann's. And I particularly like the gridded canvas because it makes cutting easily or easy, I should say. So I did just like cut a four square by four square piece here um, with scissors. I was trying it with razors and all kinds of like fancy equipment and scissors just seems to be the most precise way. It's definitely not perfect, but it will work. The other thing that I have here is obviously a diamond painting tray, a pen for any diamond painting. And then I was excited because I have um, all of these leftover drills from this kit and sorry if the light's not picking it up well, but a lot of them are like darker blues and different shading of blues. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on cutting this piece of paper out very precisely. I printed it earlier today. Happy birthday, Dad. I'm probably going to measure it. I might use the edge of my um, diamond painting boat because I don't know where a ruler is. And just cut along the edge and then place it as much as I can in the middle of this and it will stick the paper will just stick on there and then for this particular um, greeting card what I'm planning on doing is just doing a border of diamonds around well oh man I don't know because it's rectangular I think it'll still work I, I might play around with the design I was thinking of just going around and out but that might end up a little bit complicated with the design. So I might just go with like stripes. That's what I did with another diamond painting greeting card. I will try to link the YouTube short I made for it if it's released. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. And what's nice about these projects, these DIY projects is you can do whatever you want. So if your mood changes, totally fine, you know? So the first step I'm gonna take is gonna place this on here, diamond paint it around it. And then my dad loves to fish. So I found this really cute piece of paper at Hobby Lobby and it was 59 cents. So I'm gonna then fold the paper, place this in the middle of it, trim it up, and then that's gonna become my, my greeting card. It's gonna have a border around it of cute fish and then the background will be fish so yeah um i think total i spent i mean 69 cents on the piece of paper the canvas was who i might have to look up the price but um honestly like using this small amount of canvas probably costs couple bucks at the most and then I'm reusing these so yeah let's go ahead and get started I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, hyperlapse it uh, just so you can kind of see the process of making one of these cards if you decide to make one yourself so yeah here we go <laughs>
like that we are done with the card itself I think it turned out pretty well I mean the spacing is not perfect but that's the benefit to a homemade card it doesn't need to be perfect so what I did is I folded this hot dog style and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to determine where or I'm going to glue it oops it's not really in the frame sorry about that um, I'm going to glue it and then typically what after I glue it, I Mod Podge it. So I might do another hyperlapse of just doing those two parts. Um, I'll probably glue it, trim off this edge here, and then Mod Podge it, and then it will be done. So I'll show you kind of a final look as soon as I, I do that. Okay, y'all, it is a day later. I let this dry, and this is the final product. So, unfortunately, I was very silly, and I did not measure well the um, bottom part. I just let the marker kind of slip, but you know what? My dad's going to love it no matter what because he loves me. And so, this is just like kind of an interesting idea. Oh, I do see a diamond fell off, so I will make sure to replace that. Um, sometimes when I seal diamond paintings, the diamonds come off. So that's not what you want, but still, um, I think it was a cute little project and my dad's going to like it. Here's the inside of it. Just blank to write something in it. And so, yeah, if you're so inclined, you're welcome to steal my idea. You don't have to have the border around it. Um, you could just, you know, have this be the front of the card and then have the background whatever you want even a blank piece of paper so just an idea for you to try out it was fun to make i'll make sure to replace that diamond and i'll see you in next week's video if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing for more diamond painted related related content and i will see you soon bye